This is like my biggest Sailor Moon backpack ever, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. Hey, what's up, Sailor Sinchi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today, I have a Hot Topic haul for you, and these are all of the items that I was able to curate throughout the summertime, not including the Hot Topic exclusive fashion line. I'm gonna do a separate lookbook for those items, but I did wanna show you some of the items that were coming out at Hot Topic over the summer, as well as some items that are still available to this day. So let's go ahead and unbox these items. I will show you them all, and if there is pricing available, I will put that down below, as well as links so that you can purchase these yourself. I'm gonna start with the biggest item, a backpack. So this backpack came out around June, July timeframe. It costs $52.90 before any kind of sales or coupons, and it is simply described as a Sailor Moon bag. It feels like it's made out of a simple polyurethane, so not the highest quality item that you would find on the market. It's also not going to be as nice quality as Loungefly, for example, but this is going to be pretty decent if you just need something quick and easy and large because this is a very big backpack. So on the front, we have a little crescent moon in metal or plastic. And then we also have in the name of the moon printed down at the bottom. And the print for the entire thing is inspired by the inner sailor senshi symbols, as well as the crescent moon and some little stars and things in there. But the entire bag is going to be pink. The back, I wanted to mention this too, when I first saw this, I wasn't really sure I was going to purchase it because it didn't look like something I would like. I usually prefer to save my money for high quality items. And I think I did mention that in my Sailor Senshi News Network video when I first saw this bag online. But when I saw it in store, I decided to go ahead and purchase it because one, I had a coupon, but also I really like that it's padded. So on the back, you do get some padding for your arms. It's also adjustable. So the strap is adjustable down at the bottom. There's also padding on the back so that when it's laying against your back and your arms and your shoulders, it's not going to hurt as much. Both sides have holes that you can put things in, like a thermos, for example. There's a front section that you can open up. No extra pockets or anything, just an exterior pocket right there. It's zipped up and closed. Then the large piece where you can fit your laptop or your books for school, you will notice there is a pocket on the interior that you can slide an iPad or laptop into. It's found right there. So you could slide your laptop in there. And then the padding is quite thick on the back. So I really appreciated that. This is not going to be a super secure backpack. So if you want something that zips on the top, if you're taking this for travel, if you intend to take this into an environment where uh, security would be an issue, then you probably wouldn't wanna use this because it's just a drawstring. So you close it by tightening your drawstring up at the top and then you can stick everything on the inside. But that does keep it held pretty well. And then you also have this flap that buckles to secure everything inside and keep anything from falling out. So if I hold this up next to me, you can tell that it is a very large bag. I think I would definitely use this for a carry-on if I'm taking this on a plane with me or if I was taking this to school, especially if you have a lot of big textbooks. Uh, this would probably be a good option, but keep in mind, I don't know how long it would last since it's not the most high quality material. For example, I feel like eventually this would rip or scratch or the design would rub off on the front. So I probably will use this sparingly to make sure that I don't mess it up too much and get it dirty. I feel like it would get dirty pretty easily. So moving on, I have a bag from Hot Topic. <laughs> Got a pair of socks. These are the Luna socks. They're very cute. I love these socks. I love that they're so fluffy on the outside. And these are for shoe size four through 10 and they cost $4.90. These are no-show socks. I can already tell that some of this fur is going to lift off of Luna. So I don't feel like it's gonna be that cute for very long, especially after I wash them. These socks were $6.90, $6.90. And these are super soft, cozy socks that feature the Sailor Senshi symbols on the side. They also come in this really sparkly material, so it's kind of got a sparkle to it. It almost looks like glitter. 
I like the pink bottom on here and they also have rubber crescent moons on the bottom to help you hold to the floor if you're walking around in these. And that's something that was not super obvious online, but was way more obvious in store. So I did really like these and I wanted to purchase them. These are not no-show socks. They're going to have a pretty long ankle cover, but that's also where you have the senshi symbols. So I appreciate that. I think it's very, very cute. Okay, so I already opened this because I was curious. These are very cute little figural bag clips that are made by Monogram International. We've seen this design of character before, so that is definitely not new, but they are super, super cute, and I wanted to press my luck and see how well I got one. So I definitely wanted Sailor Moon of all of them because she's the main one that I collect, but I'm pretty happy with Sailor Jupiter too because she's one of my faves. She's cute. So all in all, this is series four. I don't usually collect a lot of blind bags, so I don't have a lot of these to show off or anything, but they had several different ones that you could get in this collection. When you purchase these in store, they do have cardboard around them, so it's kind of hard to tell who you're gonna get, but you can sort of tell if you squish the bag because these characters are gonna be a lot wider than the wands. So if you want a character, squish it and see if you can find one that's wider from one side to another and then has a big fat head. Now if anybody does want to trade with me, I'm definitely looking for Moon, so I'm open to trades if you're interested in Jupiter. This is a magnet that's made by Monogram International as well. I just randomly found this in my Hot Topic store, so I, I grabbed her. She's $5.90. This is Usagi in just a regular outfit. The reason I wanted to grab her is because she's in that regular outfit and that's not something that you normally see all the time. So I really like that design. I thought she was super cute and it's a magnet so I can easily just put it on my collection shelf since my collection shelf is metal. It's magnetic, yay. I'm so excited to finally open this shirt because I've been meaning and wanting to wear it for such a long time. But this is a regular t-shirt so nothing super special about the fabric. From Hot Topic, $22.90, and this is called the Group Assemble Tee. I got a small since I think this was listed in men's sizes or guys' sizes. Uh, the reason I really wanted it is because I like the shadowing detail for this design. And I also like that it's black and white and then it just has that little bit of blue, so it's not super, super bright and colorful like the tie-dye shirts we've been getting a lot of lately. And I love that we have Eternal Sailor Moon up here and there's Chibi Chibi. I mean, there's not a lot of merchandise, licensed merchandise that has Chibi Chibi on it. So I was just like, I have to have that. So I bought it, super cute cute t-shirt. That is 100% cotton, very similar to other Hot Topic t-shirts. So keep that in mind whenever you are purchasing your size because it will likely shrink just a little bit. This is a coin bank. <laughs> She's so cute and gigantic. She's huge. Very, very crazy how big she is. Um, so this coin bank, I wasn't sure if I wanted her or not until I saw her at Hot Topic. Uh, she was available as well at Hobby Lobby. You could also find her online. So you can find her in a lot of places. She is also made by Monogram International. I bought her for $12.07. I did have a coupon. Her head is pretty hard. Her pigtails are kind of squishy. She's plastic pretty much all around. Not the best paint job, especially around her skirt right here. And she does have some like missing paint in the white areas of her fuku. So, you know, she's a pretty cheap product, <laughs> but she's super cute. So I saw her and I was like, ah, yeah, I'll get her. She's inexpensive. So luckily I wasn't spending a lot for this, but there is a problem with this. Look where the coins go. They go in her back. I feel like it would have made a lot more sense to put it right at the top of her head. Don't y'all agree? Because when you have her down like this, gravity is gonna make her fill up just this teeny tiny section. So you can't really use her as a coin bank. I don't know. If, if she's hollow, if her head is hollow, which I think it is, I might just cut myself a little hole there and use that for the coins and just fill this in because I don't see the point of putting the coins in her back when you're only going to be able to use logically this bottom piece as a coin bank. That just doesn't make sense to me. 
So there's your coin bank in case you were wondering about her. I did post about her originally over on Instagram. So if you're ever looking for news about new products when they are still available in stores, follow me on Instagram. That's the best place to see the news. Now these were blind bags. These are posters that you could purchase. They come two to a box and they in each box costs $8.90 from Hot Topic. There were a bunch of different posters. So I got four of these packs, which means I got eight posters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's 16 different posters that you could get total. I didn't want all of them, but there is one that I really want and I still have not been able to find. It's that one. So if you can see it right here, I'll try to show you on the camera. This one, which features all of the Sailor Senshi, I really want that one because I love that art. And that art is also based on a manga piece of art. I really want that one. So if you have that, and if you want to trade one of my posters that I'm willing to trade, let me know, because I will trade with you. And I, I just, I want that one. I am ISO. I am in search, in search of this poster. So it's, it's a thing I am desperate to find. So I'll go ahead and show you what posters I did get and I will let you know which ones I'm looking to trade. Hopefully I can find somebody who'd be willing to trade with me. These are kind of annoying to take out of the box without messing them up. What I recommend when you're taking these posters out of their box is find the inner piece, kind of squish it, and then pull it out with your thumb. That seems to work really well and keeps it from getting damaged. So there's only one in here because this is the one I traded. This is the one that I really wanted from Julie. Julie sent me this note as well. She said, thank you so much for the trade. A fellow Mooney, Julie B. So Julie, thank you so much. I really appreciate the trade. So I traded one of my posters for this one because I'm a big fan of Sailor Pluto as well. I really wanted one that had Neo Queen Serenity on it. So as you can see, these are pretty shiny posters. They're not just paper. They look really good and they're a decent size. They're like 11 by 17, I believe. This is another one that I really wanted because I love the cherry blossoms. So look at those cute cherry blossoms in the background. And I love that they're all in their school uniforms really, really cute. I mean, that's an adorable poster. I'm definitely going to have to find a place for all of these. It's probably a good thing I didn't want all 16 because that would be a lot of wall space. Next, I have this really, really pretty one that has this nice ombre background going on. This one features Tuxedo Mask as well as Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon sitting on a crescent moon. Very cute as well, love it. Uh, this was one of the ones that I definitely wanted because it features Pegasus in the background. I also like that all of the Sailor Senshi are in their supers uniforms, looks really cool. I, I did get lucky when getting these because I didn't get any doubles and I could have. I was a little worried that I would end up with some doubles, but none of them were doubles. Okay, so this one is very pretty. Now I already have this as a clear file, so I was kind of iffy on keeping this one or not, but it's a very, very cute, classic, classic design with Sailor Moon and the Inner Senshi. I don't think that's from the 1990s. I'm pretty sure this design came out in the early 2010s when Sailor Moon kind of had a revival. I believe that's when I ended up finding a clear file with the same design on it. This one's really cute. It has a crescent moon in the background. I love the blue color of the background and it features the inner Sailor Senshi. That's one of the ones I would like to trade. And lastly, I have two more posters in here. So this is one of the ones that I really wanted because it features all of the outer Sailor Senshi as well as the inners. I'm such a big fan of Pluto and Saturn, so I very much wanted this one. I'm really happy that I got it. I love that design. It's so pretty. And last but not least is this beautiful one of Queen Nehalania, the Amazonas Quartet. And you also have the Dead Moon Circus behind them. I don't have a lot of villain merchandise, so I was really happy to get a licensed poster featuring Queen Nehalania and the Amazonas Quartet. That is just so neat. I love it. Very, very cool. Really nice poster. Out of all those, I did want to show you the ones that I wanted to trade because I am looking for, again, I'm looking for that one. That one right there of all of the Sailor Senshi. There's also this, this one that features Sailor Moon and then it has Pluto, Uranus, and Neptune in the back. And I was interested in that one as well, but not 
not as much as that one. That was the one that I really wanted and I did not get. So I was a little, was a little disappointed that I didn't get it, but I'm relatively happy about the ones that I did get. So if you have that one, you wanna trade, let me know. These are the ones that I really wanna trade. Either that one, this one, especially if you're a fan of Tuxedo Mask, probably like that one. It's really cute, I almost kept this one, but I would I would be willing to part with it for the, the one that has all of the Sailor Senshi on it. Or this one, the logo style one. I feel like this is a classic poster. I feel like this one might be a little more rare, but who knows. But I'd be willing to part with it for the full Sailor Senshi poster. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of posters to hang on my wall. I'll need to figure out where to put them. <laughs> so this was my Sailor Moon Hot Topic June, July, summertime haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I got a nice variety of accessories this time and I thought that was really fun. It was also really fun to unbox all of the blind box items. I thought that was really cool because I don't usually purchase blind box items. So that was a, a fun experience to do with y'all today. If you have any questions about any of these items, definitely let me know down in the comments. Again, I will put links down below if they are still available as well as prices. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs and I'll see you next time. Janae!